So there's a lot of HTML helpers to pick from and I'm going to start out with just explaining a form and this line right here in the create view. Uh, what is this all about? Well, the create view right here has, um, this looks very simple right now because it just has the create, um, a small text here, a small tag here saying uh, create inside an h2 tag and then here's the form and inside the form we only in our case have a, um, a name uh, text field and a create button that's all we have but it could have been a lot of different things here and later on we'll do some more complex forms but this is actually a form in all its beauty and now the single line we put in right here using HTML begin form which is a helper will actually convert itself into what you see down here. Let me zoom a bit. It'll actually convert into this form tag right here that has an action of slash person status slash create and a method of post. Now we talked about these things earlier but we need the post message to explain to the controller that it's going to be a post request we want to do and we need the action here to tell it where in the controller we want to hit. So we want to hit the person status controller with a slash create action method inside that controller. So how did all of this get populated? Because I'm not specifying any of that inside our code right now. It's just saying HTML begin form and how can that convert it into all that beautiness. So here's the actual um, form information that I actually created for me in HTML from this single line right here. All of this and then it also of course had an end tag somewhere. I'll just add that here just to show you slash form and that's because oh I need to do it in a lower case of course. Uh, form here we go because this is actually showing up because we're using the using keyword to wrap this around with a start curly bracket there and an end curly bracket here that means that everything um, inside this will be put inside the start end tag of the form that's all it is it's that simple so we have the form here we have a few lines of code and um, why does it for instance get an action in here and why does it get a method in here of the type post well because Using conventions that Microsoft built for you when you do a create view, if you add a helper and say begin form, automatically it'll know that we are working with the person controller. Why does it do that? Well, because it's inside the person status folder here. So it knows the person status controller. That's why it puts in person status right here. And it's inside the create view. So you probably want to hit a create method inside that controller. And why does it do post? Well, normally when we have a form, we do posts. So that's why it just defaults to the post one. But what if we want to change that? What if we want to put in our own controller and everything uh, on our own manually here? We can actually go in here and say, well, we want the action to hit, to be hit is actually the create action. We want the controller to be hit to be person status and we want it to be a form method of post. So now I've done exactly the same as the default solution does but here I have full control now about where I want to actually send my data when I click that submit button to do a post inside this form. And let's say instead of this, I actually want to send to the edit. I don't know why, but maybe I wanted to do that. Then that's how simple it would be to change it. And now the actual form that it would end up with would actually write edit here instead, right? So that's how simple it is. And if I put in another controller here, like uh, the person controller instead, then it would just say person here instead, right? So it's that simple using the HTML begin form helper to actually make your forms as one-liners here and then work with them like we're doing here. Now if it's it's up to you if you like to write it in pure HTML or inside the helpers but well let's start using some helpers just to show you they are out there and the capabilities they have. So um, that's all for this lesson about the form. We'll dive more into what's inside the form in the next lessons.